may seem trivial, but this one has a big impact. In this video, I'll show you the correct way to hold your guitar so you can play comfortably. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin, and this is Maggie. She's interested in guitar posture <laughs> and treats. My wife, Vicki's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started. So I'm going to focus on playing guitar in the sitting position. I'm obviously playing an acoustic guitar. These tips will work for both acoustic or electric. And we're going to talk about uh, what I consider or what I've seen folks call the casual style. There's kind of the casual style of holding the guitar. There's also a way to hold a guitar if you're playing classical music. I might touch on that toward the end, but I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. I really want to focus on kind of the casual way to hold a guitar the correct way so you're comfortable and you don't get sore <laughs> or you don't get strain or tension. Um, I've done this incorrectly in the past and I have had issues with my shoulder. So I'm going to talk about kind of like how to avoid those things, especially as we get older. And unfortunately, I mean, things seem to <laughs> creak and groan a little bit more as we get older. So uh, sitting position, acoustic guitar, I'm going to focus on um, playing this right handed. If you're left handed, just kind of flip the directions we're covering. But uh, well, first things first, you want to have a nice, firm chair that when you sit on, your feet are flat on the floor. Um, you can kind of move on from there to sit on like stools or benches, but start with like a nice firm chair. Your feet are flat on the floor. Your uh, thighs are kind of parallel and you can have a nice, you know, straight back, shoulders back a little bit. And for three great classic rock songs, complete with tablature and chord charts that you can learn to play and pay attention to your posture while you're doing it, check out the uh, free resource link in the description below. So while you're doing that, you have um, either acoustic or electric. There's going to be a, you know, a little curve here. That curve, if you're right-handed, sits on your right thigh. Now the thing with the guitar. Uh, one thing that you'll see happen is kind of start out this way and have your feet flat on the floor. But when I do that, my right leg just naturally wants to raise up a little more to kind of meet, for the guitar to kind of meet my body. And that causes some kind of, it can cause some tension in your kind of calf, ankle area. So I do use a footstool for my right leg. Um, maybe not the most like conventional way to do things, but I found this to be the most comfortable way for me. So you can have your, your back straight and your feet flat on the floor while you're holding your guitar, kind of resting on that right knee. The reason I like to use a, I uh, just use a really simple footstool. It's maybe like on the second to highest setting on this one. When I use that for my right foot, that way my leg doesn't tend to kind of want to raise up. It's already kind of rested there, it's flat, and I don't feel any tension in my leg or my muscles, and it's a nice base for it. And that's just kind of how I approach things. The uh, other thing you want to be aware of is while this is kind of, you know, this little curve here is resting on your, your thigh, is your right arm or your strumming arm, depending on if you're right or left-handed, is going to be what really holds your guitar in place. If you like this video so far, please hit that like button. It really helps us out and it helps this video get seen by others on YouTube. So you can see my arm, my forearm's kind of resting up here on the top part of the guitar and that kind of pushes it down onto my leg. Now it's not like a lot of force. You don't want to be like crushing it in there. You still want to be nice and relaxed when you're holding the guitar but you should not be holding your guitar up with your left or your fretting hand. You should be able to let go of the neck completely and it doesn't move up or down. If it's moving up or down, you wanna just kinda of increase a little bit of pressure onto the guitar. Now this is a little easier to do when you don't have a long sleeve shirt on. If you're playing with a long sleeve shirt or a sweater or whatever, it might be a little more of a challenge. I like to, I like to play with short sleeves <laughs> whenever possible. So you've got the back straight, you got your feet on the floor, may or may not use a, a footstool for that right leg if you want, kind of do what's comfortable for you. And you're putting most of that pressure and holding that guitar in place with your right or your strumming you know, arm. So while your arm's kind of resting on that guitar, you're also kind of 
the guitar is kind of moving into your body here. <laughs> some of us might have a little more body to move into than others, but uh, you, uh, some guitars will have, like especially electric guitars, you'll see like a contour built into the back of the guitar that makes it a little more comfortable to kind of press into your body. I don't have any issues with uh, a dreadnought like this. I also play a Telecaster that doesn't have any contours on it. It's really just kind of a personal preference thing. But for a dreadnought acoustic guitar, which is what we primarily play here on Relax and Learn Guitar, um, it's a matter of just kind of feeling what is comfortable. And when that guitar is pressing against you and your neck's not moving around, you're good to go. So one reason it's important to kind of keep your, your body posture kind of straight and be aware of what this right arm is doing is I found, uh, this is a couple of months ago, yeah. I was having some issues where my arm was kind of, I was kind of moved forward like this. And we'll talk about kind of looking at your hands here in a second. But I, would, I was very not kind of paying attention to how things were going. I was playing a lot of guitar. And because my shoulder was more forward, I would get done playing guitar and I'd be like, what is up? Man, I need some Advil or something. So if you are more aware of that guitar resting on you and you're holding it in place, you don't want your shoulder to kind of be too far forward. You kind of want it, you know, it's hard to do this without seeing my reflection, but hopefully that makes sense. You don't want to kind of play this way. You want to play more this That's way. That's the way you were playing there for a while. Yeah, I think I was looking at my hands a lot mm -hmm. to kind of learn songs then. So, and speaking of looking at hands, that's one thing I really see a lot, especially with beginners. And I'm going to say, you know, try not to look at your hands, but it's almost impossible not to, especially when you're learning something really new. So one thing I'll see folks do when they're starting out is the guitar will slowly kind of creep out like this. And that way you can see your hand, your strum or your fretting hand, while well, in your strumming hand, you can see your hands better. So a lot of times I'll see beginners kind of holding their guitar out like this. Don't do that. <laughs> it might help with your looking at your fingers and getting things more precise. But when you're doing that, you're really not holding your wrist in a nice kind of uh, straight, straight yeah, more of that. I get those horizontals. It's a good thing this isn't relax and learn geometry. <laughs> um, you, if you're holding it like this and it's kind of creeping out, then you're really gonna have to bend your wrist more to get those chord shapes made. And when you play guitar like that for a long time, even for a little bit of time, you're gonna have some pain that's not gonna be comfortable. Yeah, you got all you got all those things we love to get. So you you know, holding your guitar the correct way is really gonna go a long way with your comfort and avoiding those aches and pains. So what I'm going to say to do uh, is try not to look at your hands when you're playing. However, I do it. Everyone does it. If you're going to do that, I think it's better to be aware of where your shoulder is, where your guitar is. It's against your body, like this, and you are moving your head. So you're you're you might be looking like this, and it might be just for a little while to kind of get things together. Um, if you do that for a long time while you're playing, you're also gonna feel it in your neck. So not the most comfortable, but doing that when you're starting out just to kind of get, you know, where you need to be is okay to do. But what you really wanna to move toward is being able to look down at your guitar. Most guitars will have some type of uh, dot inlay on those, you know, odd three, five, seven, nine, twelfth frets. On this guitar, there's little, I don't know if you can see those on there. Don't do that. I can't, barely. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to get to the point where you can look down at your guitar like this without craning your neck and just using those dot inlays to keep track of where your hand is. That's kind of the, what you're working toward. So that's kind of the, the main tips I have for that casual play, which is probably the most common way that we play the guitar and where I kind of recommend starting. Now, if you're playing classical guitar, it's a little bit different. A classical guitar does get held like this. The uh, you know, little curve here that I was talking about that sits on your right leg, if you're right-handed, it actually sits on your left leg. And that footstool goes under that left leg. So your left leg's sitting up some, and you're playing like this. And they can kind of have a better they. <laughs> so people who are playing more classical guitar can have a little bit of different stance. It's more comfortable playing classical guitar that way and be able to see their hands and kind of deal with that like wider fretboard and a couple other things that are a little different when you're playing classical guitar. 
And another thing you can do kind of when you're first starting out is you can use a guitar strap and, and wear that guitar strap while you're seated. You know, you know, adjust it, you know, so that's not so long. And that can also kind of help your guitar rest up onto your thigh there and against your body a little better. So if you're having trouble with like your guitar kind of floating around or you're just kind of getting used to how much you know, weight to put onto that with your strumming hand. Using a guitar strap isn't a bad idea. Next, check out this video I have for you with my seven, my top seven tips for older beginners. And uh, until next time, remember that Vicki and Maggie and I very much appreciate your support, your views here on YouTube. It's been amazing. And uh, you're never too old to learn. And we'll see you for the next lesson. Take care.